In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the inference feature, which is a very powerful option in InfoWorks ITM to compensate for missing data. On the screen in front of you, you can see a simple network with pipes, manholes, and a map background. We can use the InfoWorks trace tool to look at the connectivity of the pipes in the network. And by clicking the tool, we can see the runs down from where I'm clicking the mouse to the outfall. And this is the path that flows will take in the network. And on first inspection, the network looks to be very good. However, if we take this pipe run that's currently selected and put it into a new pipe profile view, in other words, a long section view, we will actually see that, in fact, this data is not quite as good as it might first appear. What we can see in the picture here very clearly is that there are a number of options where items of data have not been set. So there's no pipe diameter here, for instance. There's no manhole data here. And there are similar repeats of those sort of faults throughout the network. To put that data in manually would take some time. But InfoWorks ICM has a very powerful compensation feature, or inference feature, which allows the software to automatically infer missing items of data. Let's start by looking at how we would set the missing pipe sizes. Over here on the left hand side of the menu we have a uh, setting already defined which allows us, using the InfoWorks features, to set the shape and the size of various pipes based on connecting data which is present in the dataset. So here it will infer missing height, missing width and missing shape from connected conduits. Perhaps more importantly it will also put a flag on when it runs that operation. To run that particular set of queries, we just take the object, drag it onto the network, and we can see here that software is going through and compensating for the pipe diameters that were previously missing in the dataset. We can now see that they've been added to the drawing, but perhaps more importantly, their inference color, red in this particular case, has been added to the dataset. We can now do a similar item to look at the invert levels which are missing. Here we're using one of three different rules, which again are all built into the software, which will go through to interpolate the various bits of data either from neighbouring cover levels or from associated gradients. And again, most importantly, we'll be setting a flag. So let's run that option as well. Just drag the item onto the data set and you can see as the toolbar goes across we've got again more data being put into our long section view more compensated information and we can see the numbers that have been generated and we've got the important flags. Final piece of the puzzle is to put the ground levels in which again we can see are missing in a number of areas and again using the built-in features of InfoWorks ICM we can establish the ground level from the adjacent nodes from surrounding groats and here we're going to say that if a value of zero is actually defined that is going to be taken as a missing value and put in. We can differentiate between blank and zero if we need. Again, a flag. Take that final option, drag it onto the data set, and there's the last piece of the puzzle. We've now gone through, put in all of the various missing items of data, and that pipe run is now complete, and we're in much better shape to move forward to the next stage, which would obviously be to push that model forward for simulation. So that's a very quick tutorial showing how we can use the inference feature in InfoWorks ICM to quickly compensate for missing, missing items of data and quickly move forward the whole model build process.